Chris. We are at the El Monumental, the home of River Plate. The teams then, Argentina against Colombia. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I've got to pick James Rodriguez. Goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Di Maria with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. Argentina take the early advantage. Christian Zapata. Quadrado. And it's Baca. Carlos Baca with a long pass out wide. Marcos Rojo tries a long pass towards the front. Argentina scoring in the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Passes it through. Lovely bit of skill. Chance! Mascherano gets good distance on it. Bilia. Mascherano. Bilia plays a clever pass. Long shell pass, that's the message there. James Rodriguez. James. Now the pass. Tried to play it through. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Higuain. They've managed to get it away. Is it in? And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. The referee's awarded a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Great strike! But the keeper's equal to it! Aimed long and direct. Carlos Baca huckling down that right flank. Back to the keeper and go again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well played, he saw that coming. Christian Zapata pumps it upfield. And it's Quadrado. And the whistle goes for half time. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now can they protect it? Argentina leading 1-0 at the break. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. James Rodriguez, out to the left it goes. James, looks like a good ball through. Gets into some space. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Your impression so far, Jim? 
There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Looks to slip it through. Now here's the through ball. And out to safety. Messi seems now to be all about wit. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. It's Iguain! And that's caused a worry or two. Well, with this guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. a long forward pass James Rodriguez with the ball through ball's loose, who's getting there? who's going to make this theirs? the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition it already has actually yeah and what they've got to realize Peter is that they won't get away with excessive force for long so they're running a fine line now oh and that should have been two what a massive let off that was they're still in it but uh, this could be pivotal oh he really wanted that he's been a joy to watch and, and that didn't miss by much he'll be back Balls out on the left now. And it's Backer. Hoists it high. Away from immediate danger. Tries a through ball. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Hammers with a delicate ball Billia 